Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, it's Chelsea Jackson, and on this channel, I talk about plus size fashion, travel, lifestyle, and product reviews. So if any of those things interest you, please make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that way you're notified every time I upload a video. It is very important to me that you do that, okay? So in today's video, I am going to be showing you my capsule wardrobe. Now, if you've been watching me since last year, which is my first serious year on YouTube, y'all know <laughs> I have been saying I wanted one. I've been talking about it. And I even made an attempt at one, but I really didn't get everything that I really needed. Because in a capsule wardrobe, there are just some things you just need. And I kept getting sucked into just buying whatever. And then when it's time to go somewhere, I don't have anything to wear. I did a lot of closet purging but i still ended up in the same cycle of just buying things and just having a closet full of stuff with nothing to wear but i decided to buckle down buy everything i need to make it work and guys i am excited about this and i hope you decide to build your capsule wardrobe because now it's just easier for me to just pick up something and go and make life easier and that's what it's all about especially these days and time we need to make things as easy as possible and with me finding a capsule wardrobe it's making it easier because this year i'm not wanting to pretty much just buy 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 anymore and that was my goal last year but it's i'm really going to dig in this year because again there's no point in keep having things and just buying things and you don't have anything to wear it with or you know is shopping your closet is kind of almost impossible because you don't have you have this but you don't have nothing to wear with it so now you got to go out to the store and get something and then you come home with a bag full of things and you're still back at square one but with more stuff in your closet <laughs> it's a vicious cycle but yeah i'm happy that i was able to have the discipline so yeah let me show you my wardrobe let me stop the rambling let's go okay so this is my capsule wardrobe I do have some pieces in my room closet and this closet as well, but this is all that would fit. And I bet y'all say, what kind of capsule wardrobe is that? A capsule wardrobe is supposed to be like eight pieces. <laughs> Listen, I'm still trying to work on my minimizing skills. So <laughs> this is it. All right, so the first thing I have in my capsule wardrobe that I'd mention are vests. Vests are super, super, important <laughs> in a capsule wardrobe because you can do so many things with them you can put this over anything and make a whole outfit like this right here you can put either one of these vests over it and it'll probably up level it put it on with a bag and you're good to go so yeah vest they are my number one and i do plan on getting at least a black one i don't know if i want a long or short one but yeah i do want a black one and i think i'll be done with my vest so next up are leather pants. Now, y'all know how I feel about leather pants. Y'all saw the previous video I did of the five things that everybody must invest in. Well, you don't have to, but these are five investment pieces that you need. That video, you may wanna go back and watch that, but I do have leather pants in there because leather pants have always been a thing. A lot of these pants I've had for years and leather pants will always be a thing and they're not going anywhere so let me show you mine now for the second time in this video i'm not going to show you all of them but these are just the basic pair that anybody could have which are the legging style leather pants i got these from h&m a couple years ago for like seven dollars i got them on sale but yeah these are the legging style this has been a thing for a while and i also have these now i got these from target and these are kind of like the jogger style. So it has that little scrunch at the bottom. But yeah, leather pants, I can put it on with both. Either pair of these, I can put it on with this shirt. And I can wear it with some heels if I want to dress it up. Or I can wear it with some boots if I want to dress it down. Some booties. Or some comeback boots. Or I can have some of the um, love sole boots. It just depends on what, how you want to wear it. But yeah, leather pants... It's a must have and they're definitely all up and through my capsule wardrobe. And of course, I do have a pair of flare leg ones as well because this year flare leg, 
leather pants were a thing and I think they're nice and pretty dressy and I think they're just necessary to have in your wardrobe. All right, I'm gonna stop saying that. Let's go on to the next thing. Right, so the next items that I have in my capsule wardrobe are denim jeans. The good thing about jeans is you can wear them with anything. Now, again, this is my capsule wardrobe. And of course you see a lot of neutral colors. So I could wear them with my neutral body suits or things like that. I'm gonna go over those later. But if you're a colorful person, you like to wear color, you can wear these jeans with almost anything. Again, with this body suit. Now, I don't know if you remember the uh, sweaters I got from Zara. One was green and one was purple. It'll look great with these pair of jeans. The one that's like cut right here and have the little choker. It'll be perfect with some nice wash jeans. You can, and those are very vibrant in color. You can wear them with any type of color top. You can wear it with an orange cardigan. You can wear it with anything. And that's why I love jeans as far as that. It's just I haven't been in love with jeans lately because it's hard to find jeans for somebody that have my body shape and fit. That's the jeans. Let's go on to the next items. Okay, so next up, we're going to start with basics. And I'm going to start off talking about what I have on now, which is a H&M 1299 bodysuit. It's a turtleneck, so you can, I have it up, but you can fold it down. And I love the playful thumbs. I think that's what make it cute and make it interesting. And again, did I say $12.99? Now, it is thin, of course. I mean, it's $12.99, you get what you pay for. You can't pay $12.99 and expect to have something that look like it came out of Bergdorf's. But, it's really cute and it gets the job done. Now, this right here, it's like a caramel colored one. I really love this one too. And again, it has the thumb. Now these two colors, the black is sold out online. I don't remember seeing the caramel online the last couple of days, but you can check. But anyway, if you have an H&M close to you, it looks like these are the things that they just put out. Cause I've been to quite a few H&Ms here in the Atlanta area and they're really just putting them out. Especially, um, at the one I go to all the time they had these all over the place so they have an abundance of these so they're really pushing these bodysuits so if you want to get one you may want to get to a local H&M now I got a 2x I really um I got it well not two like a number two but the two x is L um, those are two different things because of course, you know, the two X is a literal plus size. This right here is still a part of the straight sizes, but it's important to let y'all know that. So y'all won't go looking for it. <laughs> but, um, I think I want to try to get an XL just so it can fit closer to my body right here. Cause I have like a, a pocket right here. So I want it to fit more close and tailored to my body. So yeah, that's what I want to do, but I love it again. Did I say $12.99? Next up are basics from like banana. I have the brown one. I have this kind of like a caramel color. I have this black bodysuit that I got from Fashion Nova. It's a 3X, which is too big, but I still like it. <laughs> and also, in addition to bodysuits, even shirts like this, this is a muscle tee with the pads in it i got it from express and i want to say i got it for like eight bucks while it was on sale and i need to go and get the white but yeah these right here you can wear with any of the pants that i've showed you thus far and have an outfit and be ready to go and these are just the last things i'm going to show y'all with basics because i have a lot of dedicated videos for these things so i don't want to run it into the ground and make this video longer than it needs to be but of course y'all know these i got from express of course, y'all see my skims once before. Um, I think I got a review on them. But anyway, got these from Express. And I wanted, I got a video on that if y'all haven't seen it. I'm going to link it below. But I have skims dupes for the people who really don't have the $58 that skims charge for these. Or you just don't want to support the Kardashian brand for whatever personal reason you may have. These are actual dupes. Now... Of course, you get what you pay for. I paid like 10 or $15 for, uh, like I think around $15 for all of these, 15 to $18, because I got them on sale. 
Um, the regular price is like $32. And then they have like a buy one. Right now they got one. Buy one, get one 50% off. $58.18. Anybody know you ain't finna get the same quality. <laughs> but, again, you're, these are dupes. This right here is a size large. Now, I did have XLs in all of this when I got them because I didn't know what to expect. But if you want to have that more sucked in appeal, you may want to size down. Again, it don't suck you in like a skims, but it almost kind of fit like my skims, honestly, um, because it gives me the same kind of suction because skims don't give massive structure. Like, it don't give massive suction either for real in my opinion now up under uh, up under the shirt i have on i do have a contour top but it's an actual kind of like a girdle top and it's made for compression that i haven't had a shirt no matter if i skims or whoever that gives you that appeal but again this was that sh this shirt under here was made for that i'm not gonna look for it in no 18 dollar top so this gets the job done if you want that same racerback silhouette. Again, size down if you want a little bit more sucked in feel. Okay, so another item that I have in my capsule wardrobe are button downs. So white button downs are pretty much important for your capsule wardrobe. Now, I have an actual shirt, which is a button down. Both are from H&M. Let me go ahead and start off by saying that. And it has a little slit here on the side. And I use this to wear over swimsuits. If I'm at the beach or something like that, you can wear the pair of denim jeans and tie it in the front to give that 90s look going on. And this right here is a dress. So H&M, they have some in the store that I seen the other day. But yeah, these right here are the dresses. And it's really cute. It has the wide cuff. You can wear it with a vest over it. You can wear this as a full-fledged outfit. <laughs> These two are very much essentials. They're going to go years with your wardrobe. This has never not been a thing. And this has never not been a thing. Now, some stores, they make them with belts or things like that. But I ain't want all that. I think this right here is perfect. And you can also roll the sleeves up, taking these into the spring. Now, one thing I did forget to mention is that these pieces are more winter facing into the spring. So you're not going to find any heavy clothing in my capsule. So, and I don't really like heavy clothing anyway, but you're definitely not going to find any. It's pretty much, this wardrobe is indicative of the time that we're going into now and where I live. I live in the South and we're in February, beginning of February. And this is the last full month we have for the quote unquote heavy clothing. And even then, I mean, you know, you just never know with the weather, but we're getting ready to fade into a little bit more warmer weather. So all of these you can wear now facing into the spring. Next up, I have the pants that I have on now, which are black sweatpants. I got these from H&M, $17. You can get them from anywhere. I would say Walmart, but Walmarts turn ashy after you wash them after a while. I'm not sure with these because this is my first time wearing them. So I hope they don't turn. But anyway, you see how I paired them with this bodysuit. A nice little look. I can put my feesies on and head to the mall or go to lunch or dinner or whatever. And I have an outfit ready to go. It's so many options, but yeah, black sweatpants are a must. This black dress is, I would say it's something that everybody needs in their capsule wardrobe. But I know for me, it's important to have because you can do so much with a black dress. This particular black dress I got from H&M. And I'm uh, kind of upset because I went to H&M yesterday and saw it on sale for $15. But anyway, <laughs> I like it because it has so many vents and I can dress it up or dress it down. What I mean by the vents is it has a slit here and in the other arm, of course. And you have slits on the side. 
so i really like it it's very airy and it's a actual knit it's not that fuzzy knit but it's like a regular sweater knit and bring it forward now in this outfit i'm going to put right here i had it on with the little chunky boots that i got from asos the platform boots and yeah again you can dress it up dress it down you can put it on with heels i can wear it with my knee high boots i can wear some white knee high boots if i kind of just wanted to my cream off white boots if i wanted to make something different wear it with a cream bag and whatever it's so much you can do with a black dress but i think a black dress is very necessary and you can also have a satin one as well that's what i need i need some satin so that way i could wear it pair it with a sweater or something like that to kind of give it some type of dimension and textures you can't go wrong with playing with textures and i'm gonna show you what i mean by that all right so this right here is a one shoulder dress that i got from eloquy and it's a dress but i bought it to wear it as a shirt and as you've seen in one of my videos i had one from zara as well it has a slit on the side and i think it'll be cute if i had like a satin skirt or a satin dress peeping just underneath it in black to add some type of you know texture because i think textures really make an outfit look elevated and clean and cute this dress i want to say i paid twenty dollars from eloquy so even fun necklines because y'all know that's on trend right now fun necklines fun cuts even even right here on the sides all of that is in right now and i think you ought to just get your pieces in where you can but black dresses they're deaf and then I, I actually can wear this as a dress so yeah black dresses are definitely a thing for my capsule wardrobe in addition to the pants i think it's important to have some stirrups in your wardrobe these are like leggings but they're stirrups like what we used to call them back in the 90s they're really cute i got these from h m they were 24.99 now a lot of people ask do they slide down I just purchased them I haven't worn yet that we'll see but for the most part I think they're comfortable especially so you can tuck inside your lug sole boots or something like that and you don't have to worry about your pants coming up and I think they'll tuck in nice and neat and plus they'll stay in place because it's a stirrup all right so next up we're going to get into shoes and first up I have these boots that I got from fashion to figure they are knee length boots and they are made for wide calf women. So if you have like a 17, I want to say, I forgot exactly the width they go up to, but I thought these were some beautiful classic boots, comfortable heel for the most part. <laughs> I want to say this is a four, a four inch, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, and I love these right here. These are my absolute fave because it's so hard to find a boot like this for wide calf women especially in this bone color because they just they make them every year but they just don't make them for us and when i saw these on fashion to figure i had to grab them up fast i also left y'all you guys a link in my instagram as well so that way y'all can purchase them because it's certain things you just gotta get and I know a lot of y'all were asking me a lot of questions and y'all pretty much procrastinated so long till they sold out on you. Listen, if a store have a return policy, get, if, if any, you see something that's not hardly done for somebody of your body type, get it. If it don't work out, return it. <laughs> Just return it if it does not work out for you. But don't let nothing sell out especially something like this like this is a plus size unicorn you know for it to look good like this now some people like shoe dazzle i think they have them mostly every year but these actually look like real leather they look good and they feel good and it's hard to come by so it's kind of like order if it don't work out send them back <laughs> all right but yeah definitely needed these and those who got them Congratulations, because you got you a good deal. I know um, Chelsea, she purchased them. She loves them just as much as I do. We both love these boots. But yeah, these are definitely a must-have for your capsule. All right, next up, I'm going to talk about booties. And I'm going to start off with the Lug Soul boots. 
Now these right here, they sell them everywhere, but I got these from Target. And the thing I love about these is they have the zip on the side. I did not want to buy any pair of these boots without a zip on the side. These are a pain to slip into. Um, these style boots, because some of them have like the rubber part on both sides. I found some of the most beautiful boots, but they have these on both sides. And yeah, no. These right here, I can just put on with what I have on right now, and it'll look really good together. You put on a vest, put on a purse, and be on your way for the day. Next up, I have booties, and I have these in caramel. And these are so cute, so comfy, and I love the color because I needed a different color, something different. And I love the heel. I think it's really cute and interesting. And then the toe is giving 90s tees, early 2000s with the pointy but then kind of square. <laughs> love it. And then the zipper. And they do stretch, so you have that stretchy so you don't have to worry about but it does fit your leg like a glove. It, very, it fits very sexy. And yeah, really love these boots. Now I do think you need a pair of, again, brown or caramel color. The only pair, the only color I'm missing right now is brown. I do need a dark brown. But I think this right here is gonna do the trick for now until I find, find them. And this is a faux suede, by the way. So that's it for all of the pieces that I have. Now, as far as the pieces that I'm lacking, I'm lacking a structured black bag. At this point, I don't know which one I want. Again, I mentioned the YSL, the Chanel. I don't know. I saw some Tory Burch ones that I like. I don't know. And again, when I don't know something, I don't make a decision. So that's the only thing I'm lacking right now, my capsule wardrobe. And again, brown boots. Um, so yeah, for the, for the winter going into spring capsule wardrobe 2022, this is it. I can intermix them granimal style. Y'all remember granimals from Walmart? <laughs> I can mix them in and out and have an outfit for every time I need to go somewhere. This has been making my life easier, y'all. I, I, I gotta be honest. That wraps up this video. Let me know what's in your capsule wardrobe and let me know what you plan to put in your capsule wardrobe even going into the spring. See you in the next video.